Hi everyone, I'm CJ, aka Adventure Shock 24, and welcome back to Adventure Paradise, where the gap between this, this episode and the last episode has been extremely, extremely painful, extremely tedious, but I have done it. If we look in this chest right over here, the mob loot chest, I have almost two sta two entire stacks of blaze rods so i've been in the nether blinding grind bl yeah, yeah, i can't even speak grinding for blazes like mad at getting all of these blaze rods almost two stacks it took so long i have 11 ender pearls which is also very tedious so we're gonna bring these ender pearls and this stack of blaze rods with us today actually we're only gonna need a few of them so i don't need that many so we're gonna bring this many blaze rods and ender pearls with us to fully power the end portal but at the same time as that i'm as doing all of that stuff and getting all of the things i needed to do that i also as you can see if i open this chest the enchanted book section is massive it is completely completely and utterly massive this chest is so full like look at all these enchantments i have a silk touch book a fire aspect book protect child protection sweeping edge and the reason i've been gathering up all these enchanted books is because i've been trying so hard to do something like this i made an enchanted book that has knocked back to protection three which is useless for what i was doing it for Sharpness 5, Max Sharpness, Max Looting, Sweeping Edge 3, which is one of the newer enchantments, and Unbreaking 3. I was- I made this book planning to get the ultimate sword, like the best possible sword in survival, but when I brought this over and brought my diamond sword to test if you could combine them in the enchantment table, when I go over here and put it- uh, this here in the enchantment book there to combine them, it says this, too expensive. And I had to look it up because I was so confused as to what this uh, this meant. And it turns out you can't actually get a sword this powerful in survival mode. So I wasted all that time and now this book is literally useless. I can't, the only thing I could possibly use this book for is the protection part for armor. And it's not even that good protection. So yeah, that book is useless now. So I have started... I have started to, you know, work on getting it or adding it back all again, except not quite as good. For the, I just want to have max sharpness, unbreaking, and looting. That's all I want. Sharpness, unbreaking, and looting are the three main things. I can go without sweeping edge and knockback if, uh, knockback if, if like, you know, that's fine. I'm, I, can, I can handle having just, like, the main enchantments. And not anything, like, you know, too extravagant on the sides. But look, I have books like Aqua Affinity... And this, I've been working towards as well. I have Feather Falling 4. I don't know if you can get Feather Falling 5, but I've been working towards testing that. So, if I get another Feather Falling 4 in between episodes, because, uh, you know, there's going to be one more episode until we go fight the Ender Dragon, which is going to be insane. And, like, I, uh, hopefully, like, before we fight the Ender Dragon, I will have, like, finished all this preparing with enchantments and stuff. Because I have so many enchanted books, it's unbelievable. And, and look, look, I forgot that we enchanted the Diamond Helmet with Respiration 3 and Blast Protection 4. Oh, speaking of enchanted armor, I also put Protection 4 and Protection 4 on Diamond Leggings and the Diamond Chestplate. So now, both of these pieces of armor have max protection. I thought you could get it up to protection 5, kind of like sharpness and every other thing that can go up to 5, but it turns out you can't actually get it past 5. You can't actually, you know, get the protection level to up past 5. I think 4 is the max, so this is technically the best possible protection for diamond armor, which is also very great, and of course we have the invincible as well, but I think we should stop blabbering on over here, blabbering on like here, and like, we, we need to get a move on for, with what we're doing today, so so we're gonna need to make some chests. We're gonna need to make loads of chests. So we're gonna do that. I'm going to just craft a whole load of chests, if we can. I can only make three. Great. That's why I've been gathering up, once again off camera, loads and loads of wood. And as you can see, to get deep, like when I was doing all the enchantment stuff, I was also, you know, smelting a bunch of stones, smelting netherrack to get nether bricks. I was mining unbelievable amounts of quartz, because this chest is almost full of quartz and coal, which is unbelievable. 
people, like, I have so much stuff. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I need to take these things out of the furnace. I was, I went for a mining trip also as well, yes I did. It, so now I need to put away these stacks and stacks of iron. Let's get that and have 28 iron on us, that's fine. Put away the gold. We have so much stuff here. I've been preparing so, so, like, really, really hard for this. This is, this is going to be the... Possibly the most epic Ender Dragon battle ever, because I've been preparing so much, but yeah, look at all this wood I brought with me, so we're gonna take all this wood and make loads of chests. Let's see how many chests we end out with. I think ten chests. Ten chests might be good enough for what we're doing here. Yeah, I think ten chests is good. We can... You know, let's turn this bla let's turn these blaze rods into a bunch of blaze powder. Maybe a little bit more. Or, or, and then craft up these Eyes of Ender. I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna craft the Eyes of Ender when we actually get to the Stronghold. But first, I'm going to have this brewing stand here. And we're gonna do some potion brewing. Yay! We're gonna do that for a little bit. We're gonna brew so many... Oh, well, hopefully so many potions... Well, actually, you know what, let's just go to the end portal first. Let's go the, Let's go all the way over to where the end portal is. I need to bring my map with me so that I know where I'm going. I need to bring the map so we can go to the nether, like, the, end, the, the stronghold, where we go to, like, the end portal. And when we do that, we can start, like, getting a plan, because I didn't realize it was nighttime right now. I should not do this. I need to sleep. Hang on, let me sleep first, and then we can go to the end portal... And, you know, just see what we're doing. We're gonna place down a bunch of chests, and I'm gonna tell... I'm gonna, you know, come up with a plan, and think of how many, like, random, like, you know, all, spare pieces of armor, potions, we're gonna bring with us just in case something goes wrong during the battle. So, yeah, anyway, I'll meet you at the fort. I'll meet you at the... I keep calling it another fortress, and I kept calling it another fortress in the episode... In the last episode, actually, which was really annoying while editing it. I was like, it's not another fortress. It's a... Uh, I always forget what it's, what it's called. What? Where, where do you find the end portal? It's a stronghold. That's it. It's a stronghold. I need to remember that. Yeah, meet you at the stronghold. Alright, the, the, the entrance to where I dug into the stronghold should be around here. It's like, it's around here. Like, up there maybe? I need to go up the mountain and then there's like a tunnel that goes all the way down to where it is. Hmm, well here's my, here's my, um, Tower of Netherrack that I put so that I know where to look. But I don't know exactly where the tunnel is. That might become a bit of a problem. It's right here, but where's the place where I dug down from? Actually, I dug straight up and put this tower here to, to leave the nether fortress. I think I actually dug straight up, so I don't know. Oh, there it is. There's another tower of cobblestone, and I assume that that, 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 I assume that that tower of cobblestone over here will lead me to, uh, don't fall off. Don't fall off the edge of the mountain, that would be bad. Yeah, here it is, here's the tunnel. Now this tunnel should go straight down to where the stronghold is. And what's cool about this tunnel is, it it's like, it's like, it pokes out through the mountain, so you could see it. It's really cool. I like that this stronghold was in the middle of a mountain. Although, at the same time as being cool that it was in the middle of a mountain, where the stronghold was, it was also annoying because I had to dug through an entire mountain's worth of cobblestone to get to fight, to get like deep enough underground, which was really annoying. But there's a crafting table here for some reason. By the way, if we go, if we ever go into the Nether again in an episode, which will undoubtedly happen sooner or later, I like I found. Like, I, I found another nether fortress as well. When I was mining for quartz and getting XP in the nether, I found a completely new nether fortress. So we could get some more diamonds from that, maybe. That would be awesome. We should definitely do that or at, like, in a future episode. But uh, at the same time as fa having found another nether fortress, I also, I also put down probably about a million crafting tables everywhere in the nether. So the heather, like, I kept running, I might, like, the problem with mining for quartz is your iron pickaxe runs out so fast, like, because, because there's so much quartz everywhere, the pickaxe will break, like, after five, like, minutes, and you always have to make another one, and I could not be bothered to go back, all, all the way back home to make a crafting table, 
or find one of the other ones I've already placed down. So I literally place crafting tables everywhere in the nether. I have a serious problem, but it's, it's fine. At least it means I can craft whenever I want in the nether, because there's tables everywhere. Oh, by the way, I, I also noticed that there's some, there are some places, that aces, in this stronghold that we never actually explored. Like, there's, a, there's an entire, like, tunnel leading to, play, to a bunch of places we haven't explored yet. So I think we might actually do that today as well. Hopefully, because as long as I'm preparing for the Ender Dragon, I would like to explore the rest of this nether fortress. Because there could be a bunch more, bunch more, like, treasure and stuff. And I just realized I left, like, perfectly good iron armor here in the loot chests for the fortress. Not fortress, stronghold. Um, well, you know what? That's actually very convenient that there's spare armor here, like, in the in the chests and stuff, because that, that's good for, like, the chests I'm gonna put into the portal room, like, so that I can, like, you know, have loads of spare armor in case I die. That's definitely gonna come in handy. But anyway, there's a silverfish spawner here, which is gonna make it really annoying. The thing is, I don't want to get rid of the silverfish spawner, in case I ever want silverfish for something. Don't know if that's ever gonna happen, but, you know, just in case. Also, I think I'm gonna get rid of the lava in this portal. I, I really hope that the, like, getting rid of the lava in the portal room doesn't affect the portal anyhow. I really hope that that, like, you know, what I just did, making the room safer by removing the lava, I hope that doesn't, like, affect whether or not the portal lights or anything. I really hope that that lava was just for decoration, because I'd have a serious problem. Then again, well, anyway, let's just, we might as well... You know, we might as well just fill in the portal right now. Yeah, let's craft the... Wait, how many more Eyes of Ender do we need to fill this thing? One, two, three, four. We only needed four Ender Pearls, and I came back with eleven. Okay, well, I didn't need to spend emeralds on buying them from villagers. Man. Okay, one, two, three, four. Well, they're gonna help anyway, say, like, you know, teleporting around in the end, fighting the Ender Dragon. They're gonna help anyway, so... Okay, let's... Put in the Eyes of Ender. That's one. Uh, that's two. And that's three. And that's four. And f judging from that amazing sound effect that just played, I assume that the portal is lit. Yep, it is definitely lit. Okay, so let's, let's hopefully not, like, get, like, like, snuck up on by a silverfish that was spawned in by the spawner. Let's not get pushed into the ender dragon fight by a silverfish unprepared. That would be horrible if that happened. So I'm just gonna, from now on, now that the portal's lit, until we're fighting the ender dragon, I'm just gonna stand as far away from the portal as possible. Because I do not want to accidentally, like, trip or get knocked in the, into there by something. That would be horrible. But anyway, the first thing we should do is put a l uh, put a bunch of chests around so that we have like loads of spare stuff, like wh in case we die. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of chests like that, and maybe okay, no chests around there. Uh, a chest here and a chest right here. There you go. This is good. A whole bunch of chests surrounding the portal. And now if I, like, we, now we can, like, start putting, like, spare food, spare armor, spare everything into these chests. So, I'm also gonna make a crafting table and a furnace. Don't know why, but, you know, I just feel like that would be a good idea. So let's go into this chest here and take this spare armor. So we're gonna have a few different categories of chests. So I think this chest right here is gonna be spare armor. So we're just gonna put as much, like, armor as we can here. So I'm just going to use these spruce wood planks to make a crafting table. And I'm gonna put the crafting table here. And then I'm going to make a furnace. There we go, a furnace can go right here. And I also need to make the bed. So let's use the crafting table to craft a bed. And then when I make a bed, I can put that here. And if I sleep in the bed before we fight the Ender Dragon, then if I die, I will spawn right at the portal, which will help a lot. That's gonna help so much. You you won't even like you don't even know. So I'm just gonna where do I where should I put the bed? Let's put the bed next to the door. That's fine. Let's put the bed right here. And yeah, that's good. 
Now, what are we gonna do next? We need to make some spare armor. That's what we should do next. We are going to... Actually, I was planning on, like, going back to the house to make the potions. But I could make them here. I could make a brewing stand. I could do that. Yeah, there we go. Let's make a brewing stand and place that on top of the... Let's place that, like... I guess, like, over here is fine. There we go. Brewing stand right there. Um, I didn't bring the ingredients for potions with me, though, so I'm still gonna have to go back home anyway. Um, I'm gonna bring loads of arrows, loads of spare weapons. Yeah, I'm gonna make a... a make... Uh, let's go for two spare everything. There you go, that's fine. We'll make, ju we'll just make two spares of everything. A s we'll ju we'll have two spare of air iron sets, two spare swords. Don't know if I'm gonna die that much, but, you know, you never know. That's why I'm doing this. This is the preparation episode. Um, I could put this away in here. No, I do not want to do that. Uh, well, there's technically not a lot I could really put away. Well, you know what? Let's just make the spare armor. Let's make a spare chest plate. Let's do that. Let's make a spare helmet. There we go. Let's make spare boots. Two pairs of spare boots. That's good. And now the issue. And now the issue. This is where the issue arises. I do, I didn't bring enough iron with me either to do this. So I'm gonna have to go back home anyway, no matter what. I'm, like, I think even right now, I'm just gonna have to go back home. But first, I might as well just put away this armor. I can't wait! We're gonna fight the Ender Dragon in the next episode! This is gonna be amazing! Now, uh, yeah, should I, should I just go home? Because there's nothing left for me to do here. I lit the portal. The portal is definitely ready to jump in, but I do not want to do that yet. So, uh, yeah, the bed's here as well. I think we should just go home. Or, we could... Or I could just do the rest of the preparation stuff in between episodes, and we could explore the rest of this stronghold today. Oh, we might do that, because we could find some more, like, you know, chests with, like, golden apples and stuff in, then that'll help us during the battle. That might actually help a lot. A lot more, anyway. Yeah, let's look for... I know there was definitely a place we didn't go to in the stronghold. I just don't know exactly where that other place was. It wasn't up there. That leads... That leads to the outside world, so that's not where we want to go. I swear there was a, a secret, like, passage somewhere that we did not take. No, it's not there. It is not down here, I don't think. I think this just leads to where we were before. Yeah, that leads to the portal. Hmm. I swear it was somewhere around here that there was a place we did not go through. Or was I just imagining things? I swear when I was going back home, when we first found this place, there was another place we didn't check. I don't understand. It must be somewhere around here. Maybe it's in the library? Maybe it's in the library shaft? I don't know. I really don't know. Is, did we... Hmm. We didn't take everything from the library, though. So I might take all the spare books and stuff now, considering I actually have inventory space. Because getting a bunch of spare books from this library in the Stronghold will help a lot when I'm, you know, doing the enchanting stuff off-camera later. Like, continuing my quest to make the ultimate sword. Or at least the best possible one you can get in survival without it telling you off for it. Uh... The chest, there should be a chest right there that I didn't grab. There we go. There are so many books in here. I, I Now I won't need to craft as many books and waste all my leather, which is also very good. But I, I guess maybe there, I guess maybe there really it isn't, like, a place that I need to go in, in here that I haven't explored. I thought I'd been every, I thought I haven't been everywhere, but I guess there's just nowhere left to explore here. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought there was somewhere I haven't been yet. Aww. Well, I guess we're gonna have to leave. Well, that's disappointing, but hey, at least this means we can just go back to, like, what we were doing before, which is preparing for the Ender Dragon fight. So, we just need to go up here. Yeah, this is gonna be a long way home. So, yeah, meet you guys back at the house, and we can do some more preparations.
Alright, here we are, finally, back at the house. If you, in case, j oh, also, by the way, in case you're wondering why I'm down to four ender pearls instead of seven, or whatever, or however many I had before, um, I, I, I used some to, like, you know, just to travel a little bit quicker, because it takes forever to get between my, in my house and the, and the, pl and the stronghold. It takes forever to get in between these two places, but... I think we're ready to make some spare things to put in the chests so that we can go to the stro or to the Ender Dragon fight in the next episode. So we did two spare iron chest plates and helmets and boots. So we need two spare iron leggings. So we'll just grab two of these. There we go. That's fine. And I don't know what else we need. I don't think we need anything else that has anything to do with iron, to be honest. I think we're done with all the iron stuff. Uh, because we have, like, of, like two spare full sets. I think that's all we're gonna need. The other thing I think we're probably gonna want is a bunch, a whole bunch of food. And by food, I mean golden apples. So, how many apples do we have? We should make, so uh, we might... I don't know how many sh I don't know how many sh we should make to be honest because we have we have a bunch of gold but not a lot uh, we can we could make one two how about we make two golden apples because I want to save as much gold as we can so uh, two golden apples to add to the total so now we have four that's fine I I'm perfectly good with that we can put the gold away and now what now what do we need? We should make some potions. Potions is definitely something we should do. Let's put away the leather, the raw beef. We should actually cook this raw beef to be spare, to use as spare food. Yeah, let's cook some of this. And we'll cook... Uh, ooh, we already have a stack of raw egg of cooked steak. I didn't even know we had this. And a bunch of potatoes as well. I've cooked a lot of foods in between episodes, and I just never ate and never, like, used any of these stacks of food. That's fine. Well, we can grab the nether wart, and we need to use the brewing stand and make some awkward potions. So let's put these water bottles into the brewing stand to make some awkward potions. Now, the thing is, I don't know which kind of potion we should make. Like, you know, something that we should probably do, and would probably help a ton, is healing potions. Like, just instant health potions. Normally I go for regen, but I think instant health might actually be better for this. So, like, like, and the thing is, I th I'm pretty sure to make healing potions, you need to either reverse a harming potion, or make it with a golden, like, some sort of glistering a golden watermelon. I think you need to craft a glistering melon to make that kind of potion. And I bet you're wondering, like, how am I going to make a potion like that if I don't have any watermelons to begin with, normal melons? I actually do. I've been, I've been farming melons, and no, I didn't get them from creative mode. If you remember, we got melon seeds from, like, a dungeon or somewhere, and I planted them, like, where all my other crops are. I also planted beetroots and everything else. So I have pumpkins, beetroots, watermelons, I have, I, 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 I'm, well, I'm pretty sure I have every single kind of crop growing right now. I think I, I like, I have sugarcane, wheat, potatoes, carrots, beetroot, melons, pumpkins. I have everything. I'm pretty sure there's no other crop I could possibly grow other than chorus fruit, which grows in the end. So I think that's all we're gonna need. So let's grab some of these melons, and we're gonna need gold. Okay, so I think to craft a glistering melon, you need to surround a watermelon in gold nuggets. I think you surround them in gold nuggets. I think, anyway. I'm not 100% sure. That is how you do it. Yay! I remembered the crafting recipe. Well, I wouldn't say remembered, because I've never crafted... Well, I've never crafted? I've never crafted a glistering melon in Minecraft before. I've never even made healing potions before in Minecraft until today. So there we go. We're gonna make a whole bunch of, bunch of glistering melons to make a bunch of healing potions. Let's turn all of these into gold nuggets and just make as many healing potions... glistering melons as we can. We're gonna craft that into a glistering melon. We're going to put this into a glistering melon, and there we go. That's that. 
Now we need to brew this. So now that these are aqua potions, I believe we just put in one glistering melon and we turn them into uh, heal instant health potions. Now I think the best thing to do about this would be to use some glowstone to make it so it heals us better. And then also I use some gunpowder to turn it into splash potions. I think turning them into splash potions is going to be the best way to handle it. So, yeah, let's put in some glowstone dust. So right now the recipe we're going by is make the awkward potion, put in the glistering melon, put in glowstone, and then put in gunpowder. Let's see if this works out. So, I'm not going to test the I'm not going to test the potions, but I I'm just going to know that they work. Like, because I know the way these things work. So there we go. Instant health 2. Can they go up any higher than that? No, they can't. It's just instant health 2. And now if I put in a piece of gunpowder, I can brew them into splash potions of instant health 2. Now, the bad thing about be them being splash potions is if the ender dragon or, like, an enderman or something is right next to me... When I throw the potions, I'm also going to heal the Enderman or the Ender Dragon, which is not going to be good. But, since the Ender Dragon is mostly flying up in the sky anyway, and I'm going to have a really good weapon to deal with the Enderman, I don't think it's too much of a problem. So there we go. Splash Potions of Instant Health 2. There we go, that's great. I'm, I'm going to make so many more of these potions in between episodes, and then fill a chest full of them in the, like, for, during the battle. Now, the only other kind of potion I think we're going to want, and, and slash or need for this fight, is um, something else that I've also never done before. Well, I've only ever done once in, like, the console versions of Minecraft, testing them out. And then, we're going to need... Strength potions, I do believe. Strength potions. That's definitely what we're going to want to make. And I'm pretty sure you make them with blaze rods, right? I could be wrong, but I think you make them with blaze rods, which we're going to need to make some more, like, you know, stuff for. So I'm going to put this sunflower in with the farming supplies. Going to put away the string. My inventory is completely full. Why? There we go. I could put away that stuff. We're gonna need to craft some more water bottles so that I can make all make some more potions. I need more water bottles. There we go. That's fine. Now I want to go out into the night. Can I... If only you could... That would be so cool if you could click, like, in the air when it was raining to fill a water bottle. Like, you know, just hold out the potion and fill it up with water because it's raining. I guess that's technically what cauldrons are for, because they fill up when it's w raining. So, there we go. Let's go down over to this river over here, fill up all of these bottles. I don't have any more space for the other water bottles, so I'm going to have to go somewhere else. Um, let's go right over here and throw away the iron... Let's throw away two pieces of dirt. And that's good, right? There we go. I should have enough for both of the water bottles to get full. Nice. Now we can go back into the house and brew what I think is going to end up being strength potions. Now, for the strength potions, I'm definitely not going to want to turn them into splash potions. Because if I splash them on the ender dragon or an enderman and give them strength, that's not going to be good. So, those potions, those are the potions I'm going to be turning into normal potions that I have to drink properly. So, there we go. Let's go into the brewing stand. Did I shut the... Oops, I didn't mean to pause the game. Did I shut the door properly so that no monsters can get in? Great. Now let's go over to the brewing stand, put in these three water bottles, put in the nether wart. There we go. Now that there is nether wart in, I can turn them into awkward potions. And then I think you do a blaze rod. Not blaze powder, blaze rod. I think. I'm not 100% sure though. We can try it here. And I should also probably put away the gold, because I don't need any more gold for now. That's fine. I can put away the apples as well. I don't need these anymore. Uh, what did they turn into? The awkward potions? Thank you. Now, blaze rod. Let's try that. Nope. Okay, blaze rod does not work. It is blaze powder then. Okay, so you use blaze powder to get strength. And, and... I'm confident that this is not going to give me fire resistance, because fire resistance comes from magma cream. Which I have made those potions before, but I used them off camera to grind with blazes. So, 
yeah, that's, in case you were wondering why I defeated so many blazes easily, I, I made a bunch of potions of fire resistance using some magma cream. So there we go. Potions of strength. Strength for three minutes. When applied, plus three attack damage. Nice. Didn't these potions used to say, like, plus 120% attack damage? I think they changed it so that they tell you how much damage you're dealing with them. Okay, so now, if I turn them into, like, potions of strength 2, it's gonna shorten the time to, like, I think maybe, like, a minute and a half or something, but it's gonna make, make me so much stronger. So we're gonna see what happens here. Uh, it's gonna turn it into Potion of Strength 2, which is going to make it be Strength 2 for a minute and a half, I got that right, and it doubled the effect. So now, if I drink this, I will do, even when I'm just punching with my fist, 6 attack damage, with it, which is the strength of an iron sword, with just my fist, I think it'll work. So, that's amazing, that's gonna be so useful, and... At the same time as that, if I'm doing that with a enchanted diamond sword that with 7 def attack damage by default, drink this, and for a minute and a half I do the ooh, like the strength of an iron sword on top of an enchanted diamond, that is gonna be, gonna be some real damage. So, yeah, that's gonna be amazing. Can't wait for this. I think it'll work with the bow as well, and with a fully enchanted bow, that's also gonna be amazing. So... Yeah, I, I can't wait for this. This is going to be the greatest Ender Dragon battle in the history of the world. But, I'm not... I actually... I'm, I'm, I don't know if there's anything else I need to do on camera in this episode. I don't think there's anything else I really need to do. Because I've brewed a bunch of potions, I made some golden apples, I lit the portal, and, like, I showed you everything I was doing with Enchanted Books off camera, so I think... The rest of the preparations is going to be up to me before the next episode. So hopefully I can get all of the enchantments done before the next episode. But yeah, that's going to be about it for this video. Please like the video if you like the video, of course. And subscribe, maybe, if you want to see more videos like me. Wait, did I say more videos like me? I, 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 I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Adventure on!